Hello, this is Solo Tunis. In today's video, we'll see how to create, modify steer point, and even create fly plan. Steer points are extremely helpful for CCRP attacks and for the targeting port as well. So, let's get started. Create a steer point. Just press 4 on the ICP. Here you will see number 1, which means steer point 1. This is for the latitude, this is the longitude, this is the elevation. To know the latitude, longitude and the elevation, just press F10 on the keyboard. And you will notice on the top left of the screen, the coordinates. And for the F16, we need to switch the coordinates type by pressing left alt w to this one because we need those three digits at the end to create steer points for our viper so this is the latitude this is the longitude and this is the elevation so for this example i'm going to create three steer points the first one will be on this target here second one for this combatant and for the last steer point will be the tinian international so, let's start creating our steer points. So, first, for north, 14, 10, 4, 2, 5. Then, enter, double down, east, 1, 4, 5, 14, 5, 9, 3. If you made the mistake, just press the recall button and retype your desired coordinate. Five, three, nine. Enter. And for the elevation is five, six, nine. Enter. Then we increment to select two point two. Then north again. Thirteen, five, eight. 3, 9, 1, enter, east, 1, 4, 5, 3, 0, 2, 2, 7, enter, and since it's a ship, we just leave the elevation to 0 feet. So, you can notice the white dot here and here, which means these are steer points. And this cross means that we are selecting this steer point, which in our case, the second steer point. So we go for the last steer point. Again, north, 14, 5, 9, 9, 5, 8 enter east one four five three seven one five six enter and for the elevation is two six zero so let's say I want to modify the third steer point which means, rather than landing in Tinian International, I want to go back to the Anderson Air Base, which is here. So, 35, 0, 2, 6, enter, east, 1, 4, 4, Five five triple seven. Enter. As you can see here, the third steer point become our base, and the elevation is five three eight. Then enter. So let's get the taxi and the takeoff. So see you on the air. We can use the F-16's autopilot to fly us directly towards our steer points. 
general case target points so we can focus on setting up our targeting pod and our bones profiles so autopilot pitch switch to altitude hold and the autopilot roll switch to down position you will notice our jet is flying towards our steer point so in the meantime at ground master mode and you open our targeting pod page and you will see that the targeting pod is automatically slave to the target point and we power on our or CPU 105s and we'll just wait until we get to the range in the meantime I'm going to explain those symbologies so one minute three seconds to bomb release two minute two seconds to reach our steer point the heading is 47 towards our steer point and the range is 14 miles and we're going to use two CPUs for those targets here and let's set 100 feet distance between each one bombs away let's go to our second target As you can see, the use of both the autopilot and the target points reduced the amount of tasks that we have to do at the same time, which helped us engaging the enemy with no added stress. Bombs away. Now let's head back to our base. So, hope you liked this tutorial, stay safe, see you next time.